Today is a non-alcohol day in Thailand and a national holiday that sees schools and government offices closed for the Buddhist religious holiday. Drinking in streets, bars and restaurants is banned and sales are banned in shops too. Most nighttime entertainment businesses won't be open tonight as they would have to open at midnight and not before to comply with the law. The Australian police have confessed that it was them who sent out the red notice via Interpol that alerted Bahrainian officials to travel plans by a refugee from that country. The semi-professional footballer had been granted refugee status in Oz and was travelling on his honeymoon when he was held here in Thailand for three months until Bahrain dropped its claim for his return. Oz cops say that they were unaware of his status in their own country. Thailand's health service has clarified that private hospital patients don't have to buy prescription drugs in hospital pharmacies. They can leave and go to less expensive suppliers if they wish. That said, most insurance companies cover the cost anyway. But for those who pay for themselves, it could be a saving. A 14-year-old Burmese girl reported missing by her parents in Kanchanaburi has been found safe and with friends. It seems that there was a family row and she'd stormed off, later sending a message to her parents that she was being held against her will. Police were out in force seeking the girl, concerned for her safety, and social workers will work with the family, so we're told. A stunning performance is promised in Bangkok in November. This as Thailand is set to host for the very first time the Miss World competition. 130 countries will compete, and the finals, as always, will be televised around the world. That's a first for this nation, and we can expect it to be the best for years. Valentine's Day was a nightmare for one Slovenian man who lives in Kalasin. It seems that his girlfriend didn't turn up for their romantic date. She was too busy putting out political banners around the city instead. Police there have arrested him after CCTV caught him slashing the signs advertising her favourite candidate for election. He's admitted the crime and claims that he was planning to ask her to marry him on that night and was distraught and slightly drunk. No word on whether she would have accepted his proposition. And with only minor road accidents on the police log here in Pattaya, the city's safe and sound so far this week. And the Met Office promises highs of 34, dropping down to 23, and a day of high humidity. And that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand, and of course Pattaya, the city of fun.